What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be actually uh, doing a little bit more of an experiment here. Um, we're actually planning on removing the uh, gauge face here. We're going to be taking off the actual face of the gauges. We're going to be sanding them down. Um, putting in a different color uh, bulb in there. Uh, little LED bulbs so that we can actually get a different color instead of that orange uh, but without further ado uh, let's get started so uh, you know what? actually scratch that so the reason being that I'm not actually showing you guys how to take off the clusters because there's tons of videos on YouTube on doing that but I haven't found any videos of people actually opening this thing up um, and actually doing some customization instead of because uh, you could actually buy overlay an overlay that's gonna go over this um, which if this doesn't work out I can go ahead and do but um, I've seen other videos where, or pictures anyway, of people actually um, putting in some pretty cool LEDs, doing a lot of modifications to the cluster itself. So um, to kind of try to save myself some money, I'm gonna go ahead and try doing that first. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is take off these two Phillips heads. Yeah, because they do hold on right there. this top piece comes off set it there on the side push these down there we go push this one there we go cool and let's see so down here there's a couple oh they actually just came out cool but as, I could, as you guys can see down here at the bottom, there's four tabs as well. At the top, there's one, two, and then two corner ones. So now that we got the gauge face exposed, uh, we're gonna use a small Phillips head screwdriver. As you guys can see, uh, there's a bunch of little uh, black things here. Those are actually screws. They go all along the gauge face. We're gonna go ahead and take those off. We got a small, small Phillips head. If you guys are doing this on your personal cluster, I would be really careful. Uh, just make sure you take pictures of everything, how it sits before you actually take it off. Because um, these uh, these needles are actually synchronized, not synchronized, but they kind of have their, um, they're kind of placed in a specific way to avoid, um, so, that way, so that way it actually reads correctly. Because you could actually take off the needles Put them back on there. Hope that they're good, and then try to try to work on try to put everything together. Once you trim on the car, it won't come out right. So um, right now, what we're actually going to do, because I didn't do it, is I'm going to actually take pictures of these uh, gauges with the cluster off. Because you want to take pictures with them on and off to make sure that everything goes back in its proper order. There are little uh, tabs here that drop it that prevent it from dropping further but even then if you don't put them exactly where you took them off you're, you're gonna have a hard time so let me go to get those pictures taken i'll be right back all right guys so we're back here now we're gonna do the kind of like the hardest part of this task um in my opinion which is gonna be to go ahead and take off the needles here um you can use a flathead or if you have uh, some sort of smaller skinny pry tool, you can use that. Let me see what I actually have here before we do that. So I have a couple tools here. I've got this one, uh, and then I have this one as well. This is plastic, so uh, as you can see, it's tied up to uses already. We're going to give this one a shot, see if we can get it done with the plastic one. Um, and then of course, like I said, you can use a flathead screwdriver. One needle. Sorry, there you go. See, it's just painted orange on top. 
but the rest of it's clear. So we'll see if we can actually change this too. back there we want to remove that orange uh, the red we're gonna leave but the orange we want to remove that as you guys can see back here it's all orange so we're gonna go ahead and sand that down using our rotary tool uh, hopefully anyway we don't want to be too abrasive so we could we could actually just use sandpaper these are our lights one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine to illuminate the cluster right four five six seven eight nine yep nine to illuminate the cluster itself these are going to be for like your signal lights and um your high beams but we're not going to be changing those just the ones for the cluster itself all right guys so now we got our rotary tool here uh we're going to start off kind of slow maybe yeah, we're gonna start off on our level two setting here. This is a Chicago Electric brand, pretty cheap from Harbor Freight. But um, we're gonna go ahead and start off slow, see how it starts coming out, and then we'll go from there. Because the key is you wanna be patient here. You wanna, go, you don't wanna start off too fast and just go crazy. You guys can see the gauge face kind of looks like this from the back. Well, you can't tell too well because the, the camera makes it look better than it actually does. But it's got like all these, uh, all these uh, sanding marks on it. But that's okay. That's what we want. So we bumped it up just slightly over the two, just like that. See how much it already went faster. All right. I mean, obviously you guys can see the difference already. Uh, we have only done half of the cluster, but it's looking pretty good so far. All right guys, so it's looking pretty good now. Um, like I said, this is just kind of an experiment. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually uh, swap out all the little bulbs here, um, two LED bulbs, and then we'll see how it starts looking as soon as we put it in the vehicle. We're in the car. Uh, we got the new cluster, well, the test cluster, I should say, back in. Uh, right now we're actually testing bulbs. Uh, we're putting in some LED bulbs. So, here are the LED bulbs that we're putting in there. Look pretty cool. Over here we have a different one that we were trying, but these ones seem to be uh, brighter than that one. So this one, we're actually gonna be putting it right here in the illuminations as far as drive, park, and the mileage. Uh, right here, I currently put an LED back there, but we need to remove that plate. Um, as you guys can see here, sorry, right here. There's no plate, there's no bulb in there. I need to get another bulb in there. So um, I actually dropped the socket for the bulb somewhere in there. So I need to find that and then we'll get that bulb in there. I also want to put some film behind there just so it's not just pure light going check, through. Check out the struggle here. Check out, look where the dang light socket fell into. Like, what the heck, how the heck? So yeah, I gotta fix that. So we finally got that little socket out. The pain in the butt. But really simple, we're just gonna go ahead and get our new um, bulb in. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and hook it in, put it in back of here, and then we'll be able to see if it's gonna work or not. And the reason I say or not is because sometimes we gotta flip the bulb over to get to work. Hitting that. All right, so first, let's get behind it a little bit. See that? We already got it working. Good to go. Yeah, by the way, guys, these are all um, T5 bulbs. Let me go ahead and put that one in. I need to try my other hand. I'll grab my uh, pliers real quick. There we go. And these things just um just help the light project. As you guys can see, it's kind of like hitting there. <clears throat> so yeah, there we go. We got that part set up. We need to take this yellow nasty thing out. So uh, I'll be working on that right now. All right, guys, so it is nighttime. I'm in the G35. I got the cluster face back on. Um, I got the LED lights in. I sanded down as much as I could one of the uh, one of the needles here, and then I just painted it yellow with, I mean, not yellow, uh, blue with some um, dry erase marker, but I was only able to get that far. As you guys can see, it's a little bit pink still. But it's, this is just to test it out, just to see how it's gonna look on there. Um, like I said, this is all experimental, so let's go ahead and get started, see how the gauge cluster looks first. All right, guys, so we kind of just barely put the needle on there. I couldn't get it to go in uh, properly, but So as you guys can see, that's the gauge cluster. It's super bright, too bright. We're gonna have to, there we go. Oh. There we go, it's as low as we can have it. But um, as you guys can see, the needle does look pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like that. As you guys can see, it's completely see-through and transparent right there where the parking reverse neutral drive light is. So we're going to want to put some something there, something transparent that's going to be see-through, kind of like this. Um, but we don't want that orange anymore. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for now. But we're going to keep going, seeing what we can go ahead and do here. Okay, guys, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, make sure that I get this on video. Um, around your gauge cluster, when you have the facing off and everything, in order to get access to this and what I have in my hand right here, to remove the orange uh, film. You guys actually need to remove a bunch of bolts around it. Um, they're like golden color. I actually have one right here, so that way I can get you guys to see them. Um, it's gonna be a bunch of these. I think it's around eight. Could be wrong, it's six to eight. Um, sorry, I'm not looking at them right now. But um, once you do that, you're gonna be able to remove this whole piece of the gauge cluster right here. As you see it, separates from the rest of it and then once you do that um, you could actually remove this uh, it's just a bunch of pins they go into the little board right here on this side and then on the other side as well there you go and then um, once you get that off this will actually separate from the rest I didn't really want to take it off but I just did it just to show you guys just because it might be hard for me to put it completely back in but once you do that, as you saw that little piece that fell out here, this is what um, creates the orange as far as um, the mileage now. So now that we got that out, it's going to make it easier for us to go ahead and uh, get that. Well, now we don't have that orange involved. But now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this put back in. Very carefully. And there we go, guys. So as you guys can see, now it's transparent. It's a little uh, tinted, but it is transparent now. So now we won't have um, this orange um, looking thing. 
Uh, it's basically a shield so that way the light doesn't go directly because as you guys saw right now the light is directly inside of there and it just projects straight out so it'll kind of be it'll be kind of blinding if you don't actually put anything over it which we are going to um we're, right now i have a couple stuff a couple items that i'm going to try to use to see um if that'll work as far as covering the light um so we don't have it completely just see through where we're just going to be blinded all right guys so I wanted to give you uh, just a better look of uh, how I go ahead and sand the um, needles down. So as you guys can see, it's pink, orange, reddish, I guess. But it's actually just from down here that it's actually painted. If you look through it, it's transparent. So we're going to go ahead and sand off this down here. And then we're just going to use a, um, a dry erase marker and then we're just going to paint it down there in blue. We got it at the lowest setting. As you can see, still a little bit of pink. As you guys can see, pretty much got it all cleaned up, except that tiny edge there. I just can't get to it, um, so I'm just gonna have to leave it like that. But I got a dry erase marker right here. As you guys can see, that's how it looks on the other side. There we go. All right, now we're just gonna do the rest of the needles next. All right, guys, so what I ended up doing here um, to get the back of the gauge faces actually blue is I bought a notebook uh, from Walmart. Um, it's not too transparent, but it is transparent. We had originally bought this but this was just way too clear and the more layers I started putting, it started looking pink um, just cause it's kind of, let's see how it's like holographic um, but yeah, so the notebook didn't fit completely for the gauge cluster so I cut right here initially as you guys can see that line and then I just used an extra piece right here to cut the rest out so right around, let's see like maybe right here, there's a, it's cut well, not cut, but that's where it ends, and then I got that extra piece right there. You can kind of see it sticking out. Um, I went ahead and put the needles back on, so we're going to go ahead and see how it looks. Hopefully it comes out. As you okay. can see, it is daytime. We're going to get our stock cluster um, turned on, but what we're going to use is a blanket. So we're going to get our blanket, show you how the stock cluster looks. Um, that's just dirty. I mean, you guys saw I polished it before, but that's just dirty. Yeah, you just got to clean it off. And then over here, we have our other cluster. As you guys can see, the needle flew all over there. But um, hopefully, hopefully it'll actually be okay. If not, I'll just take off that needle and try to calibrate it again. But yeah, guys, uh, let's see how this works out. All right, guys. So that's our stock cluster. As you can see, that lights out. But um, let's go ahead and get our other cluster, cluster in there now. Ooh, this looks pretty awesome. So that shouldn't be there. That shouldn't be there. That is. That shouldn't be there. That should be there. So everything else is bad. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That last one's good. So we just got to calibrate these things, move them a little bit of, around, and then we'll be good to go. But it looks really cool. Yeah. Really like this video, subscribe. Hope you like this video.
バイバイ。